Right, welcome ladies and gents, the Crooked Man, Hellboy, or Hellboy the Crooked Man. We've got some more information about this film. It's like every single day we get new info about this, which I'm not, I don't hate, I think this is interesting. The director, who is the director of Crank, uh, reveals new story details and confirms plans for the R rating. He pitched it as an R rated film. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it will get an R rating, it may be toned down, but it's a pretty good sign, all things considered. So we'll dive into this today. Please do hit subscribe. Please do turn the bell notifications on and just share the video. Generally, sharing is probably the best thing you can do uh, if you want to help support the channel. Uh, or you can become a member or a Patreon, which you can find linked in the description box. So today, let's take a look. Uh, Hellboy the Crooked Man. The director reveals new story details and confirms plans for an R rating. But again, remember... Just because there's plans for an R rating doesn't mean it will get the R rating. It's just, yeah, nah. Now, interestingly enough, is that he pitched this because he wanted to see a younger Hellboy floating around. Which I think is like, sure, cool. This is a this is a hard reset. This is a straight reboot. It's got nothing to do with Del Toro. Nothing to do with David Harbour. Straight, harsh, reboot, reset. Brand new stuff. And they're going to set this in like 19, the, uh, 1950s, I think, something along those lines. We'll take a look anyway. But it's based on The Crooked Man, which was one of the best-selling, uh, best-regarded stories for Hellboy. Came out around the same time as Del Toro's Golden Army. And uh, it just thrived. Like, it's just really well-received. So, it's like every day we get a new Hellboy story now. They're really cranking this up. So it's recently confirmed the new live-action Hellboy movie is in the works, titled Hellboy at the Crooked Man. That was originally the working title, but they've just like, yeah, it's the Crooked Man, that's what it's called. So that's just straight up with it now. Uh, with cameras expected to begin rolling within the next couple of months in Bulgaria. Literally next month, production begins. Crazy. So Brian Taylor, who did Crank and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Ugh will direct what's being described as a movie that expands Hellboy's world through one of the most beloved issues of the comic series. Hellboy's creator Mike Mignola, meanwhile, has penned the screenplay alongside his Dark Horse Comics collaborator Chris Golden. So it's a project that definitely has potential. It does have some potential. The director's not that good, though. Um, like, I don't care about Ghost Rider. Don't care about Crank. They're f like, Crank's fun. Ghost Rider's fun, but the thing about it is, is that will that translate into a Hellboy film? Your guess is as good as mine. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you think that that will translate into a Hellboy film? Do you think that's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think a Hellboy film will, you know, be better received with that fun element? I don't know. I think, I think there's a fine line between it being fun and it being corny. And that's the problem I have with this. There's a fine line between it being fun and it being corny. And Mike Mignola, sure, cool. The creator's coming back. I'm happy to see him do the screenplay. I think this is the first time in all of the franchise he will be working on the screenplay. So, yeah. I don't hate the idea. It's just like a wait and see moment about all of this, to me anyway. So recently, Collider spoke with Brian Taylor about his plans for the franchise and why he wanted to adapt The Crooked Man. So after praising Del Toro's vision, he added that the Mignola comics he's a fan of are from the era The Crooked Man was released. And this movie, and this is what he says, and I quote, will go back to that and do a real reset and really give us that version of a younger Hellboy wandering the dark corners of the world Paranormal Investigator, Night Stalker, which I just don't think we've seen yet. Yeah, he's not wrong. We haven't seen it yet. Do we need to see it, though? It's what you guys can tell me. Is this something that you're keen on? Uh, again, I'm I'm fairly interested in this. I don't hate the idea. Uh, a young Hellboy wandering the, the globe. Yeah, okay, cool. Like, There's a lot you can do with that. There honestly is so much you can do with that. Uh, often these studios, they do tend to squander those opportunities and chances. So I guess we'll have to see. 
Now, Taylor's also worked on the script, and while it won't be a direct translation of the comics, the goal is to honour them and bring what we've seen on the page to life, and that required an R rating. It doesn't have an R rating yet, everyone. It's really important to note, just because they're aiming for an R rating doesn't mean they'll get it either. So, that's nonsense. I hate it when articles do this. I pitched uh, an R-rated folk horror movie, and the team here at Millennium have been nothing but supportive. We've definitely had a discussion of, you know, it doesn't really serve anybody to make something R for R's sake. To say it has to be R, so we have to add A, B, and C, but this material, this original material is dark, and scary and violent and adult. There's some very interesting sort of reasons why you get an R rating. Uh, some of it's just to do with quantities of blood. Some of it's to do with intercourse. You know, there has to be uh, sexual intercourse in, in there. Some of it has to do with the amount of curse words which are given as well. So, yeah, to sit there and be like, well, look, you know, I pitched an R rated film. Sure, you might have pitched it. We don't know if it's got that yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But, at least they're not shying away from it. That's the issue that I think a lot of people have with uh, a lot of modern day adaptations is that the studio very clearly is shying away from an R rating. And that's when it's bad. At least these people aren't doing that. So anyway, to kind of give too many details away, uh, Brian Taylor did confirm that his Hellboy reboot will have three leads, noting that those will be the big man himself alongside Tom Ferrell and a new character created by Mignola, who replaces Goram. Uh, as for casting, uh, that's underway. I'm as excited to learn that news as, as anybody else is. But we've got some amazing actors who are in the mix, and the goal is to break out a younger version of Hellboy. Uh, and then he concludes by saying, and I quote, I want, to, I want fans to know that we're coming at this film from a place of love for the original material. And for the character, for Mike's character, we're not trying to reinvent some completely different idea of Hellboy. We're trying to get back to the feeling of these particular books from the mid aughts Look, cool. I'm happy about this. I think this sounds fine. Still a wait and see moment though. Millennium did 2019's movie and they're trying to make a slate of films out of this. Not just one, not just two, probably, probably three. So we shall see. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Hit subscribe, give the video a like, and do share it. Cheers, ladies and gents. Take care.